I truly believe that Eric and Az have the dumbest supporters on the internet, the absolute dregs. I'm totally convinced now. It's like they're hurting in the dumbest people on social media who find the two of them to be so intelligent because they are just that stupid. I truly believe that at this point. So this is a clip from one of their live streams, a little three minute clip, not a long one today, uh, from Adonis Adams. And they're talking about the game Exo Primal from Capcom that came out last year. And um, the fact that they used drag queens uh, to promote the game, uh, which they say here is offensive to public order and morals, basically saying that drag queens are immoral. Gay people are immoral. That's the statement here. And in this clip, it's funny to watch Eric and Az stumble through all of this, being completely oblivious to any of this, but getting mad about it, like retroactively upset, even though there's no material damages that came from this that affected either one of them. It's quite interesting. We're going to watch this clip. But before we do that, if you're going to enjoy this video and you want to fight back against the awful algorithm, join the revolution, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment down below, and let's jump into that algorithm and dismantle it. I think that would be a lot of fun to see YouTube have to reformat how it pushes out content. So we're not seeing like all this negative stuff when you go to look up a trailer for like the Acolyte and the very next video you see behind the trailer is a bunch of people hating on it. Let's take that back. Let's make it more diverse and allow people to see multiple voices instead of just all the hate content. So please consider subscribing, hit like, and leave a comment down below. We can do this. Now let's watch this video and debunk it. Adonis with a 20 Canadian says Capcom used drag queens to advertise one of their games. What? X X Exo Primal to kids. It's a special, what? I, I gotta look it up. All right, a couple things. Number one, it wasn't for kids. Exo Primal is a rated M game. It is mature. It is for adults. It is not a kid's game. So that's the first issue is they're trying once again, and I've talked about this, to equate homosexuality, gay people, to something with kids. I argued with somebody in a comment section of one of my videos. I've argued with people on Twitter about this. This is part of the course for these slime molds, right? For Eric and Az. They always have to take a issue when it comes to gay people. It could be anything and draw that line to kids. What about the kids? Protect the children. This is a complete misrepresentation of what this is. And the simple fact that they didn't even know that Exo Primal that came out last year was using this as advertisement. They're just jumping into this without even bothering to look to see if the game was in fact intended for children. It's not. It is a rated M game. Secondly, so what if they want to use drag queens to advertise their product? Any company can choose to use whoever they want to advertise. This is something that Eric should be on board with because this is his values. This is what he promotes. He's like, everybody should be able to run their business however they want. This is on him. And as is just an idiot. So it doesn't really matter what as thinks. In all fairness, a drag queen is a modded man. Oh, yeah. this happened uh, This happened a year ago. Why did, I miss, why did I miss this story? Because it wasn't a big deal. That's why. This whoever this person is that's trying to make this a big deal, it wasn't a big deal. Why would it be a problem? Why would it be an issue? Capcom advertised a game using people that actually play their games. <laughs> Why would that be a big deal? It wasn't like they went out to a nightclub and paid someone. They could if they want to, but it wasn't like they went out to a nightclub and paid drag queens to run down the street promoting this. This was literally a stream with drag queens who play video games. So it makes sense. The dead silence here. So, I, I, I don't want to show you all this shit, man. It, it's See, now he's overreacting. Now he's overreacting. This is more of that astroturfing, more of that homophobia. He's acting like whatever he's looking at is disgusting. When, in fact, this was a stream that was shown on Twitch. It might have been shown on YouTube, and it was streamed through Capcom, meaning there's not going to be anything on it that is not allowed for people to see on the internet. Like, it's not going to be an OnlyFans video or anything like that. Yeah, that, that actually happened. Capcom uh, Japan grants this, these VTubers early access to promote Exo Um And Capcom USA hosted a drag queen, okay. a drag stream to advertise the game's open beta. Yeah, I'm looking at it, and that 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 happened. What the fuck? It's on, and it was on Capcom USA's stream. Uh. Why did I not? So this is what's interesting. When we talked about this like 
a couple weeks ago when I said that Eric and as made so much like anti-gay content, I got a little bit of pushback on that until I started dropping numbers and percentages. And then people were like, Oh, I'm not, I don't want to address it. I don't want to talk about it. And then some people have, have wisened up to this. I saw a couple people in the comment section saying, you're right. It is a little weird. The fact that they believe that at least Eric believes here in this moment that he should have heard about this means that he is hyper tuned into gay culture online. Like he is keeping up with anything that comes out with drag queens or gay people or trans people. And he feels like he missed an opportunity to talk shit about something. Um, and that's quite telling because this means that he is in fact looking for gay content to talk about. He is in fact doing that. It's actually something that he's doing, which I think is quite interesting. Why do I not hear about this? I mean, I'm going to show it just for as that, that actually happened. Yeah, there's a screenshot actually here. Okay. Uh, it, it is from Capcom USA. Mm -hmm. and nice they, rack. They... <laughs> so they used a VTuber on like the Ooh. Japanese stuff, but mm. on the Capcom uh, USA, <laughs> you got drag queens. They got men dressed as women. Gotcha. Right. That's a that's an interesting take there. Um. Well, first of all, that that Capcom would have analytics. They would have numbers they could look at, just like you as a business owner has or anybody who has a YouTube channel. You can look at your analytics to see what people are gravitating towards when you're making content, which means that they would know that in Japan, VTubing was the most popular community that would have been most likely the type of community to play Exoprimal. So I guess they looked at the USA one and they said, hey, you know, the drag community pulls in viewers on Twitch. These are the people that would that would have their eyes on the game. Uh, they're the people that would watch this and play this. So we're going to take those numbers and we're going to use them to advertise our game. So unless you're arguing that you and Az have more information about the actual customers and the analytics than Capcom has, then there's nothing to really be confused about. They looked at the numbers. They decided this was the right path for the game and they went with it. And then whatever happened is going to happen. Like it just... This is my first time. Why did I miss this story? That's um uh, he is so mad about missing that's uh interesting to say the least. Uh what's so interesting about it? Y'all are so fascinated with gay people. Why don't you have me or a drag queen or someone else come on a stream and talk with you about our community? How about that? How about you have one of us come on a stream so you can ask us what we like to see, if we're invested, if we're involved, do we read comic books, do we play video games? Because you have this weird, like, we're treated like, you know, Sasquatches or unicorns or whatever, some weird, nebulous, mythological thing with these two guys. And it's not. We're literally one screen away from you. You don't, there's, I mean, is what is the fear in getting to know someone who is gay or a drag queen or a trans person? I don't truly understand that. Interesting. Um, sure. It's an interesting way not to get customers in. <laughs> do you? How, how do you? Do you like just have to not know your audience for something like that to do that? I mean, they probably went with their numbers. Do you think they would decide to go with the drag queen arbitrarily without looking into it? Do you think that's how advertising works? I mean, you can't because you you advertise yourself. You have a company. So they must have looked at their numbers and said, this is where we think the money is best allocated. And then when you do that, it's a it's a roll of the dice to find out whether you're you're right or wrong. What's so what's so strange about that? Yeah. Or something like that to happen? It's the West, dude. It's the West. Of course they don't fucking know. Well, they do know they don't like it. No, we we are sick, we are sick and tired. Of, uh, of making sure that our business thrives because we make stuff for the 99%. Uh, we are fully committed to getting rid of that and pandering to the 1%. They get... So do you actually think that that's the way it works? Do you think that only 1% of people would be interested in drag? I'm going to let you in to something from our community since you guys are so fucking ignorant about it. Um, what is one of the biggest reality TV shows in the world, worldwide? It is RuPaul's Drag Race. Drag is more popular now than it has ever been. It's obviously massive. It's so big that there are different communities in the United States who are trying to shut it down. They're trying to shut it down because of its popularity. So you act like having drag queens advertise video games is such a weird thing, when in fact it makes total sense 
from the perspective of trying to tap in to a demographic that is on the cutting edge. Um, because not everybody thinks like a 70 year old person. Oh my God. What in the fuck is going on in the world? Uh, Adonis appreciate that. I, I didn't know about that. Um, and the world is still here. Everything is still fine. Games are still coming out. People are still outside enjoying the world. Everything is good. But you're acting like this was such a big deal, such a massive problem, uh, even though you didn't even know it existed. Nobody was really talking about it. So, um, yeah. He says, uh, it's especially hypocritical in light of the fact that Capcom thinks mods for their games uh, to be offensive to public order and morals. That's um interesting. All right, so let's quickly go over all of this. First and foremost, Exo Primal is a game rated M for adults. It's not for kids. They weren't specifically promoting it to kids. That's astroturfing, which makes it homophobic. I'm fully committed to saying that these two guys are absolutely homophobic at this point. They just do they do too much of this. Too much. Like I I, I just it's beyond, okay? Um, the fact that they talk about this person talks about offensive to public order and morals and both as and Eric seem to go along with that would insinuate that they do believe that being gay or doing drag is immoral. So we've established that there's just so many things to unpack from here. Eric's upset because a gay story got by him last year about video games that he could have used to talk shit about, uh, queer and trans people so much so that he turned this into a three minute clip on his channel to talk about a game that came out last year. When I clicked on this, I was like, wait, this doesn't look recent. And obviously it's not. Bitch Pudding is a friend of mine, a drag queen who is very much a gamer, into cosplay and all of that. One Dragula season two, massive, massive celebrity, much more well-known in the public sphere than either of these two guys are. Um, Instagram, like I think like 170, 180,000 followers, 30 some thousand followers on Twitch. Very, very active in the community. I reached out to, to Bitch to see if she wanted to come on here and maybe do a stream with me, which I think would be a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll work something out uh, down the road. But all of that aside, to act like there's some massive difference between VTubing and drag is so weird to me, right? <laughs> so weird. No offense to VTubers. If you're a VTuber, this is not me trying to like shit on you or whatever. But doing drag... You're getting dressed up in hair, makeup, um, costumes, all of that to get on camera and be a, a character, right? That's what you're doing. There's no difference in that and a VTuber who may be a man, who may be a woman, using an avatar of something else, whether it be an animal, whether it be somebody of a different gender, whether it be somebody else of a different race. It's literally the same thing. The only difference is one community does it with makeup and actual clothing. The other community does it with digital effects. It is absolutely the same thing. VTubing and drag are cut from the same cloth. Sorry for all you VTubers out there who are bigots. You're just doing digital drag. You're doing virtual drag. You are virtual drag queens and kings. Just accept it and love it. That's what you are. Uh, I would love, I would absolutely love if one of these guys wanted to talk to me about actual queer culture, queer community, to talk to me, to find out what somebody from this side of the, of the aisle thinks about all of this, because maybe there's some things that I don't like as well that these companies do like rainbow and pink capitalism. We talked about that uh, last week with Marvel. There's some things I don't like as well, but the difference is I think that they don't care about actually building bridges. They don't care about, finding some common ground. All the two of these guys care about is astroturfing and making gay people look like the villains. And it's so egregious because there are people that work within the Ripperverse who are queer. And I don't know how they can do that and work for this man and then go home at the end of the day and feel okay about it. As is just an idiot. Uh, he'll never run a company. He may actually work for Eric at some point. He may have a comic book coming out with Eric at some point. But as is an idiot, he's an idiot and he's probably one of the worst. So Eric is a much more, um, I don't know, like he thinks about what he's doing a bit more than as, as is just this like loose cannon idiot who says all kinds of dumb shit. And, and everyone that follows these guys, you're, if you do not see what they're doing, you either agree with them 
or you're too stupid to know that they are just hurting you into the pin. One or the other. 